So, we're here trying to get the Wampler Terraform set to work with this through this. So currently, I patched in the through cable, went up to the connector that goes into the back side of the Wampler, and that's where I'm at so far. I tried to do one preset by holding, getting it to blink like that, and then banking up, and it doesn't do anything. It should tell that to save to this preset, but it doesn't. So right now, we're just gonna hold down save. That's all good again. I gotta figure out maybe what's stopping it from transferring in this or in that. So let me see if I can figure it out. It's uh, actually pretty simple once I went through everything. First, you're gonna go to your setup menu on this by holding this as soon as you see the disaster area stuff start flowing through the screen, hold this down and you'll see it go to setup menu. And then you're going to scroll over to device and you're going to pull up this. You're going to hold, go in here and it's going to probably be set on a or off if you're starting from scratch. But mine was set for a because I was already using it with the Volante. Set the a. We're going to go ahead and go to B. And then you can scroll with either one. And then you're going to hold the left one, save that. Then you're going to go down to device B. I'm going to hold, go in there. And this first setting is global MIDI. It's kind of hard to see with the four LED model like mine is. I'm hoping to eventually get a DMC Pro. But for now, I'm still on this one. But that's global MIDI. If you remember on the Volante, we went over to Timeline, and that one worked well. They actually recommend the big sky on um, the manual now that I see it, but really the Timeline worked just as well. The only difference is the Timeline has some looper stuff that's set up in here for that that the big sky does not. Um, but like we've seen in the past, it worked fine, so let's just stick with it. Actually go back into Device B. That's what we have set for Device A for the Volante. So we're gonna set this one. We're gonna go back up to Global MIDI. Uh, that's not Global MIDI. Global MIDI right there. It's kinda, like I said, hard to tell. Save that. Then that's actually all we have to do because the rest we won't use. So let's hold this and it'll say save. So that's good. Now we're gonna scroll down to the Volante. The Volante, you have to use it to send messages up to the Wampler. So these were the settings I had when I opened the menu by powering it up, pull your jack, hold the tap, put it back in while you're holding the tap, and then this menu will pop up with reds and greens instead of yellows and greens like you'd see for your delays and feedbacks. So anyways, this is the way it was set up when I came in here. Basically, this top roll on the playbacks are your MIDI stuff. And ironically, you need to swap every single one of them to the opposite color. So this one, I believe, sends MIDI program changes. You want to tell it to do that. Um, green or red means it stays inside the Volante and doesn't send on. Uh, this is send CC uh, messages. So you want to turn that on. And then this one is keeping it inside. The messages come to the Volante and go back. They don't go through. You want to tell it to send through and then you hit tap and it'll save and then I went up here and you'll see that the Terraform is changing with the Volante so this being said now I'm gonna figure out how to save presets to individual channels on this so let me come back when I figure that out okay so what we're gonna do first, just to confirm that the Wampler is in the correct preset channel, go ahead and hold down your preset button, give it power again, and you'll see it starts flashing. That strobing, cycling, four lights LED right there means it's in Omni mode. You can go through your settings and set it to whatever channel you want using the binary code. Um, it's in the Wampler manual showing you what all of them are, but we're gonna keep it in Omni. So now we're gonna hold down You'll notice it'll eventually go back to the uh, effect menu like that. That's the effects menu. Um, 
So let's go ahead and do a preset. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the Wampler itself to make a preset that you want to assign to said um, preset inside the DMC Micro. So let's go down here to the Volante. We got him flashing at that speed. I don't really like that speed. Let's try, here, let's go ahead and uh, set a faster. Let's go with EDM, roughly that speed. We're gonna go, let's go ahead and save that preset on the Volante. That's saved to zero, zero. Let's go up, you'll see it. We got that, bop, 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 there we go. So now let's go up here and do the same. Roughly the same. So now let's say we wanna save this as preset three. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna save it as preset three. So hold again. There it's saved as preset three. So now we wanna assign preset three two are zero, zero. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna scroll up to zero, zero, one or 99 if you choose to. We're gonna hold this open. We're gonna go to zero. So now we're at zero. You saw that it turned the bypass light back on because we're inside that preset again. We sent it the zero, zero message by going down to it or up to it if you went from 99. And then you're gonna hold. And now zero, zero turns on that preset. So let's say you want to blank out zero, zero. Let's go back up to uh, 01 again, excuse me. Kind of yawned there. Okay, we're gonna open this menu back up. Now watch, if you go to zero, uh, all four LEDs flashing like that, and then we go down to zero, zero, that sent that message to the Wampler. We're gonna now hold and save. You'll notice zero, 00 just turned the Wampler off. Let's confirm, go up to zero, zero, 001 or zero, 01, go back to zero, 00, and now it's bypassed. That's because we just assigned a bypass to this for zero, 00 by holding this down until we went to the four. So now if I wanted to bypass zero, zero, 001, even though it's already done, uh, let's do 99 actually. Let's send it 99, which was not bypassed up to this point. Let's go ahead and hold down. Now 99 is bypassed. Let's do another one real quick. So 98 is not bypassed. You can see the green light turned on. Let's go ahead and bypass it. Hold down, scroll to your four LEDs flashing again, go to 99, sending it the message, then hold this down. And now 99 is bypassed. Let's confirm it's bypassed. One last time, let's show you how to set up a pre set for 98. I just referred to it as 99 on that last section. Sorry, I meant 98 there towards the end. That was the channel we were working on. Let's go ahead and set up a preset for 98. Right now, like I said, confirm it's not, it is bypassed at the moment, but let's go ahead and pull open a, let's say we wanna take this preset and we wanna save it to 98. Let's go ahead and 98. Uh, scroll up to 99, which is bypass, so it didn't force this to change. So we're still in like a preset. Let's go ahead and pull this up inside the preset menu. Let's scroll down to 98. It sent the 98 message to this. Now we save. And you'll now notice if you scroll back to 98, it's got that preset and it's not bypassed. So let's go one last time. Let's scroll down to Let's go to 90 for kicks and giggles. Let's say we wanna set 90 to a different preset. Let's scroll up to 91. You'll notice it'll change the preset, but let's say we wanna go back uh, to number three. There's number three preset, let's save it. Now we're gonna save it to 90 by going down to 90. It sent the 90 message to the controller. Then we're gonna save. Now if we scroll up and then back down, we saved the 90, that to 90. Let's say we want to save the four to 90. We could just hold, out, hold it like this, scroll down to 90, save, and now both 91 and 90 have the same preset. 
and we overdid that number three preset that used to be on 90. So it's kind of like the Volante in a sense that you can send a CC message to it and it'll save. The only thing that's different is you have to hold this button again to save it, the message you sent to it. So that being said, I think I showed you enough times going through this cycle of how to do that, that you can try it on your own. I hope this helped and I hope you guys have a great blessed day. God bless you people, to the saints. This is your friend, St. Chris, signing out. God bless.